Good evening, everyone. How's it going? Hello, Fancy Asian. Thank you for the follow, by the way. All right, it is a, it's a weird a weird stream time. We don't normally stream on Saturday nights, but I was out all day. Had to get started tires for the bike and haul the little ones around. So let's just get into it. We ended with, uh, we shot down a bunch of UFOs. So we have a small there and two. 23 is a very small and 22 is a small. So let's, well, let's go and attack these. We have red team for one. We know they're aliens. So let's do our standard. Hold on. I only have four people on this team anyway. So they're at the end. Let's go and get our four X's. One, two, three, and... Delta. All right, we'll bring uh, one drone who has armor and a dog. And then fill up everyone else. And that gives us... Is that the, uh, the cannon? Oops. Let's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's going to be a, a, a weird night for me. All right. Yeah, that's the tank cannon. Which, actually, I kind of like. It's a nice little tank. And you are a hybrid with an X, a newfound skip. Are you a hybrid X? Is that what that is? Oops. Uh, you are a hybrid. No. What? Well, no, it's quick mind. Quick mind. Yeah, you're a hybrid X. It's like as low as you could possibly roll in a hybrid. So it still falls in that, <laughs> that realm of possibilities. That kind of sucks for you. All right, crew F9. We got our laser rifles in case we have shields. Are we missing anything? Smart magnums. We got to make more of those. Make more of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to sell those healing dolls right now before I forget. Yeah. And uh, do we do anything with these? We have 50. Why do we have so many of these? And what's the point? How much space do they take? None. <laughs> Absolutely none. Uh, do we do anything with the zombie parasites? No. We just have millions of them. Well, who knows? Now right, we gotta research those. There it is. Just selling things as I see them. Hey, quick mind, how's it going? I mean, it's still forty-five, so it's not that bad. It's just, you know, not great. Hey, Sarah's Oregon evening. Hey, Mr. 141177. All right, red team. I'm going to hit that small one there, and 22 was the other small. We'll leave the very small behind, and we will get Grunkletown can beat the sun as well. All right, let's do swap you out, put Kirby on there. Actually, let's just go like this. All right, four X's. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, Max Payne. And we do have some cyber armor here, which is fantastic. Cyber Max Payne gets the jump armor because he has an asterisk, as do you. Barbin Dogovich gets a Toxie suit because that is his deal, and Hovim True get it. Yeah, it's cyber armor for you. Cool. D 
default. Just in case. All right, we'll send you after 22. And before we go anywhere, we have research going. Um, I want these corpses to go elsewhere. Let's send them to Q base, right? No. Yes. Transfer the corpses to Q base that need to be researched. Oh, well, shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do I need to research? Uh, let's see. We have Tomb Guard. Tomb Guard Corpse. No reason to do corpses here. Nope. Wait. Not Titanga. Cubase. Sorry, guys. It's light. I'll get this figured out. Corpses. All right, we need to send over the Tomb Guard, the Vampire Queen, and everything else is research. Oh, nice. I'm not a sacker. <laughs> I let them, I let them live and be the brunt of the charge. <laughs> it would be interesting if there was a correlation between the two. All right, these are all fighters, right? Uh, let's assume they're fighters. That means, yeah, they're fighters. We can get out without any fear of reprisal. And let's see what is facing us. Uh oh. Through the wall. Nope. <laughs> Not getting through that wall. Alrighty then. Oh, do I have... Oh, I don't have any of that. I gotta remember to put... Um, we need to put... The Skull Jacks on an, our equips from now on. That has to be a thing. Let's get you close. Need to use those skull jacks. Leave the dog back until we know what we're facing. If there is mind control, we'll keep the dog away. Two and two non-lethals on each side. Put the laser back up. All right. Hmm. So it begins. All right. Yeah, these are the fighters. They all look like this. But the nice thing about fighters is aliens always spawn inside. There is no outside spawn chance on fighters. So you can bum rush them. Alright, let's get to that door. And if Scorch ever changes that, I'm going to lose a lot of soldiers. Bring you up close. Probably don't need the incendiary inside. It'll be better. Um, uh, maybe I I just know it was that way in the final mod pack, and it has never changed. I don't think there are soldiers in the fighters either. I think they're all middle ranks. 
like all like all navigators or something like that because they're not really meant to uh, attack right not supposed to be fielding troops I gotta fix the lighting I don't have it on all the uh, craft Oh man, he uh, he is a huge fan of, of Aftermath. Speaking of, I need to play the UFO series. I really need to play that game. Uh, let's bring uh, Elmer in here, because he will be a good backup. Nothing can withstand a Thrasher. Outside of, like, heavy, heavy armor. Alright, quick mind. You're still stuck. You're panicked. Well, you know what? It'll turn some bravery on you guys, maybe. <laughs> Dead bravery. Uh, that's a pretty bad roll. Same with Delta. Oh, what are these guys? These guys is... Cerebrals. They are not very strong. And, yeah, Navigator. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, we definitely came across the Muckstar. Early on, too, it was lethal before we had anything that could shoot across the map. All right. What do they have for weapons? Stop panicking, please. Actually, you know what? You're good where you are. You are a good target right there. Because they're all right here. All right. Let's see which way they're facing. Uh, I'm going to CQC this. Oh, and there's one at the door. Can I? Yeah, let's, let's do this. Trap you in. You have a sword. <laughs> Not so tough, are they? All right, and you found Skip. I can't actually melee you from anywhere unless you can come here. You can come here. There we go. They had shields, but those purple shields and melee must not be very strong. All right, yeah, two navigators. I only need the one. I can sell one. Need the corpse. Ooh, Reptoid Shadow. I can sell one of those. All right. No. Titanga has all of these, right? All our spare aliens. Congratulations, these are all we lost, all the people we lost on the vampire castle. <laughs> so, congratulations on your promotions. Uh, let's, I'm going to send that team back and to do the very small as well. That'll be a soldier, which we need. Can a tank actually go through the orchard? No. Friggin' orchards. Found it. All right, cerebral there. Let's get it to mind control us. Do you think it'll try to do that first? I want you alive. So hop in here. All right, let's make some tempting mind control targets. And do the shuffle. Excuse me, it's coming through. Don't mind me. 
you out. There we go. You found skip. And quick mind. Overwhelmed by options. I'm telling you, I think sense is actually a detriment to most aliens. All right, so it's a... Oh, it's a gold shield. So the gold shield is... Take extra damage from stun. Way extra damage. Uh, electric, less. But this is chemical cutting. All right. So that explains it. These would actually be pretty effective. I wonder if we can shoot. Let's do a test with these new Type C weapons. <laughs> oh, that's right. The dart pistols. You guys, I don't understand how you see that. It's literally the purple shield from Pirates. Snap it. All right, we took down his shield with two pistol hits, so that is definitely viable. Oh, another navigator. Never mind. <laughs> you can go ahead and sell that. Oh, man. That's great because it's a fighter. That's why. It was a mini fighter that destroyed our raven. But we got, we got our revenge. So all these fighters, that means we're going to have a base defense of these guys. All right, where are you? Oh, there it is. Kind of close. Sorry, right. I wonder if these guys can hurt tanks. No, with their skills. All right. PSI rods. Come be targets. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that wasn't a good idea. You might hurt each other. I mean, you can, especially with that gun. Now, if we had... <laughs> You know, we gotta fix that hand job. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot that. Uh, let's not have you be a prime target just yet. We never tested if the flamethrower works on gold shields. Incendiary. Half damage. This doesn't mean much. I don't know if the, if the fire causes morale damage through the shield or not. That is the question. Countdown the third? <laughs> or the seventh. Went from zero to 100 to 79. PSI rods doing their duty. That nah, not exactly what I had in mind. Definitely suicidal. At least we recover your armor, Hank, so it's not a big deal.
Now one of you, you can just come up here and maybe drop on his head. No, oh, you're... Alright, yours truly. I can't even stun him and knock him out. Sorry, I don't even think I need these guys. I think they're all going to be navigators again. So it'll be whoever gets their first sort of scenario. If anyone sticks their head out. Alright, here's hoping they uh, try to psionically attack him before they do anything else. That's a big... Oh. Well, that worked in my favor. They did not psionically attack him. <laughs> For Earth. Alright, these guys don't have much of a shield at all. We punched through that shield. Dawnfire, the Swede. Um, let's do melee first. Anyone else here? Oh, let's do this. Let's do science first. I think we lit him on fire. The science is if he panics. So, this is science. <laughs> this is totally science. No. No, it doesn't work like that. He's on fire, but it's not hitting him. Oh well. I think I think this counts as training for Ivan no matter what. So I'll take advantage of it. After actually facing real ethereals. Kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> well, Meridian punched an alien to death. Do we have smoke on us? Let's put out... Yeah. Wait, no, that's not smoke. There's smoke. Let's put out this fire. Well, where's the last one? Oh, that's because I'm... I'm, yeah, mind-controlled. Well, free training, right? They do damage. Alright, we got plus 10 bravery on, on Hank. That's good. Plus 4 throwing on Ivan, so it did train him. And more navigators. All right, cleared those up. We're gonna have, we're totally gonna have a base invasion right there, and a syndicate warehouse. Let's let South America do that one. Devil's Den. I don't have any cyber armor here yet. Do I even need to do the syndicate warehouse? Not really. So it'll just be more of a training thing. All right. Do the shuffle. But we can take all the X's first. Well, no, we'll just do it this way. You don't have to worry about X's. Stickman, Angela, North, the Rogue, Sneaky, Tolis, Manuel, Giat like Kate, Incognito. And uh, I actually want to take a tank. 
Sparky's a dog. These are dogs. <laughs> Where's my tank? Quote. Do I have more than quote on here? No, I don't. All right, well, whatever. I hate when that happens. All right, let's do that. Am I really running low on titanium vests? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, and I guess I'll give one of you will get to be in a toxi suit. Oh, you get to be in a jumpsuit. You don't have jump. Oh, you don't have jump armor here. This base has the weirdest set of stuff. All right, Tolus, flamethrower today. Let's do it this way. Anyone over 60 gets the shield. Which is quite a bit of you. Alright. And one personal armor. Hey, Helmet Hair, how's it going? Uh, no. We're like late mid game. <laughs> <laughs> we're really good on aliens and alien captures. What we have not had any luck on is getting the other two arcs we need to get to Mars. To actually freaking spawn. So we sort of, we're just sort of at the, uh, at the whim. Sell that healing gel. All right. Pink team. Pink leader. Oh, God damn it. Don't care. All right. We're doing good. We got to get some engineers done. How's my manufacturing going? All right. Those are for all the other bases. We have located a syndicate warehouse. Hey! Hey, Nelson, this is actually the perfect syndicate warehouse music, isn't it? It's wrong. <laughs> Especially. He's fixing some of it. I know, like, Cyberweb is being fixed. Sneaky thinky. Alright. Let's get you out here. We'll look at the street. You will be a target. There's the warehouse. Send someone into this building. All right. I feel like we just did this map. Send someone here. I can't go that far. All right. It's all right. Little hybrids, you need a lot of training time to be good. We'll have a reaction corridor going. And hell, the fact that we didn't even get Cyberweb until um, mid-1999 spawned for the first time talks a lot of it. Tells you a lot about how RNG has been working for us. We can't get our syndicate art to progress. And we got the warehouses. We did the syndicate monster, the underground one, once. And then we're just waiting. We've re researched everything. I'm just waiting for it to spawn. All right. But in better news, I got churro donuts today. The wife brought some home. Those are delicious. Frickin' delicious.
All right. Do you have any stun resistance? A little teeny bit. I want to just throw in two. See if we can knock you out with that. He could throw there. Why can't you? <laughs> All right. I'm a little worried about that corner. That's clean. No one back here. All right, everyone's in the building, or everyone's in the damn building. Everyone's in the building. All right, this is going to be a bloodbath. Frickin' bloodbath. Shields up front. Big guns. What's your snap? 24. Open that door. I frickin' dare you. I'm just going to send the guys in with the pokey rods. And these are thick walls. They're hard to actually drill through. Could probably do it with you. And actually, uh, trigger... Yeah, let's do this. Let's get you down here. And see if we can get through here. Yeah. And just be a prime target. Oh. All right. This is a different building. Or we've actually never been upstairs, that's why, because they always funnel down to us. Yeah. Are these any different? No. You just stay there. Just keep them occupied. All right, that guy did not pass out. React. 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 All right, and stand like that. Stack up. And there's the coveny. Right, this might get a little bloody. Man, that guy just threaded the needle right there. Yeah, we're going to train reactions on quote. CQC for the win. Getting it to work in our favor ever since Pirates. Alright, you go in here. Excellent. I'm pretty sure we got all these guys taken care of. <laughs> oh my god, that is an awesome emote. <laughs> Wait a second. No, I can't do it. I thought I had. I thought I had a, a gift to you. Or is that a higher tier? Hmm. 
All right. Ah, tier two. Yeah, that's like my my uh, TLGDA. The last goddamn alien. All right, I'm gonna no. If I stack up even deeper, it'll cause trouble. We'll just we'll just get back here and uh, do some backup sniping. Yeah, just in case one of them goes down. Don't kill your friends, please. Please. Kind of want to bring the flamethrower in here, <laughs> just to really shit on their parade. Let's just do that. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. <laughs> I think both of those wounds are from us. Go quote. Oh, we only got one wound out of that. He got shot in the back with a magnum. Goes to show. I need more drugs. It's all right. <laughs> I haven't used 3D paint yet. All right. That was... Well, plus four reactions on the tank is fantastic, so that's totally worth it. Syndicate security. We are done. All right. And more secret files. Also done. You can sell, literally sell everything. Alright, nice and easy. Vampire Knight Corpse. Uh, this zombie looks very human on the outside. Its chemistry is completely different from a Tomb Guardian's. The cellular energy levels are off the scale, but there is very little actual metabolism going on. Moreover, there is very little energy in its blood. This means that the vampire does not actually use the hyperenergetic chemical that earlier stages do. Oh, and there are no fangs, just body parts of the parasite that can crawl out of the vampire's mouth to feed on captured humans. That's that is markedly worse. Now let's just throw you on the engineer. In Cubase, I realize I actually need to get some. Uh, let me spend some money. And I need, um, like an alien containment and some living quarters here. Uh, and like a jail so we can just do research more live aliens. Uh, workshop, ghost tank. <laughs> you know what? If we ever get a ghost, a live ghost, you can research it here. And what is this one? That's the intelligence center. And the um, workshop, ghost tank, animal pen. Not going to worry about the prison cells. There it is. There we go. All right. Everyone else is building the virtualized HQ. God, we spent a lot of money on that virtualized HQ, didn't we? This one's done. You are making uh, some cyber armor. I have one space left here. Oh, what I might do is uh, build, like, a drone bay. And I can uh, get rid of this now. I th no, I cannot, because I'm using the storage. We'll worry about that later. Uh, post 31, right? This thunderstorm kicked ass. All right, once we get uh, the soldiers in that transferred, we need to go through all the bases. Oh, Dana, you were shot. You were the pilot that was shot down. Okay, I'm like wondering why you're here. Why am I getting... Oh, good Lord. 
All right, and you're still training. It didn't actually take you out of training. Oh, that's... I'm going to throw that in there. Oh, give me one second to report that. All right, reported that one. Let's get you up. Perfect. And one more person to throw in training. Well, private hopscotch it is. Large, very high. Is that... What type is that? Supply? No, that's... It's a lab ship. Is that a sectoid lab ship? My arch nemesis? Can I shoot down a sectoid lab ship? Let's see what it shoots at me. No, I can't hit it. <laughs> just a just a heads up sort of thing. I thought lab ships were very large. Well, these are my worst, but we'll take Grungle Town, and we will take this crew again. Because it's the Cyber Armor Crew. What am I making here again? All right. All right, Grungle Town. All right, what can we make really fast? That'll be fast. All right, if they're a sectoid lab chip, I'm gonna gonna cry. Oh, good good news. Oh, I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna attempt it, man. I can do this. Sectoids aren't better than me. Bald face lie. No. Oh. Caught that one, huh? <laughs> it just straight up caught that shot. Let's see if we can shoot from here. 31. I know it's only 40 strength though, which is the pr which is a slight problem. I only need to get like to there. Yeah, your strength will be a little pr little bit of a hindrance right now. That's all right. You are a high uh, a hybrid with 41 strength, so let's not discount that. Oh, this is nice. Let's get up there. That is very nice. That's not so nice. <laughs> that's, that's actually, that's not so cool. All right. I'm gonna risk a grenade. I'm bringing you out. I mean, you'll be able to see me here. And let's bring you here to see if I can trick you into wasting your time units. Yes, mind control that one. And that guy right there. Oh, 
I'm going to bring Philip Phosgene in through here, I think. Oh, right there. Right there at the door. It's going to be a one-man army. Mind-controlled constantly. He's going to walk into the ship when he gets panicked. That's how that works. One and two. I don't think this will hurt you, but it's good for training. Oh, never mind. I take that back. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. If he survives, I'll go ahead and capture him next turn. I'm a little worried about the blowback. So you stay there, you stay there. No, there's another lab ship that's a very large. Right? Pants off, dance off. Late Saturday nights. Late. Uh, da, 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 da. Was it you I was watching Quick Mind where you landed your Sky Marshal against one of these so you can just walk onto the wings without flying armor? Oh, okay. That explains it. <laughs> well, look at that shield. Purple shields versus melee, what? Hmm. <laughs> huh. Well, they are here for a reason. One, two. Th oh, do we want to capture another commander? Saying that like it's a banal choice. We have two commanders already. Yeah, let's take care of you. All right, let's just obliterate. Mm. I know you can't see him, but you can see the ground right here. Boo. Our rogue vacuum cleaner. He's <laughs> showing its roots. All right. Go through zero percent. I don't think any of those came close. We have lost our minigun charm. We really should, man. If I go here, can I get out of the way? Dude. Dude. Can't even move. Why, because it's a hill? Yeah, I think so. I can't shoot and then go back down, can I? No, I cannot. I just need to get you out of their line of sight then. So let's, let's move back a bit more. Nothing. Sorry, right, we'll come around this way with you and actually Run across a snowman's land. <laughs> I don't like the way that's set up. Oh, not you. I want to shoot either of those two. I 
I guess I could run around the back. Whoops. Bit of a slog there. Alright then. Two and two, I guess. Uh, we'll bring you over here too. Yeah. Trade. Alright. Not too much I can do right now without... Oh, I can get one of these ready. At least scare them. Can I hide behind here and step out? Maybe I'll be able to see. That'll be worth a shot. Who are you shooting at? Oh, it must be Hank. I am panicking. Say la vie. <laughs> Damn that. Oh, hold him. I think I do a snap and still move. Nope, you just the worst. Pressure got to you. We need to add a stress mechanic. I need afflictions and virtues. Ivan, you're not that weak. Alright, I guess you are that weak. I take it back. Aww. Well, that is not a stun launcher. Just a heads up. Really? Really? Ivan? That can't be right. You have 40 strength. Oh my god. Stop telling me I can make these shots. Thank you. It does weigh 8, but it should be able to throw farther than that. Right? You should be bleeding now. Yep. The long way. I need some deployable cover. I know I can see that one. Can you see that one? You can. But we have high X loaded. Yeah, whatever. Don't kill Max Payne. Uh, the request. It's a nice shiny Philip Faustine over here. We would like want to run up here. Dawn fire. I'll bring you around the back as well.
They don't have any doors. Oh, that's not so good. <laughs> yes, it yeah, that would be amazing if it was if it had a a soldier. <laughs> Sprite. But was this like a block of terrain? Or if it was just like actually a soldier, that'd be hilarious. Alright, we need to get close to you. I get you to run out of ammo. Is that a possibility? Anyone else there? No, just you. So I, I really can't get much closer. Unless you can run up here real quick. Oh, oh. oh you can. Do you see anyone else? No. That's ballsy there. Let's spend some time getting our energy back. Ivan's tempting fate. That'd be so awesome. That'd just be great. <laughs> All right, we'll take some peeks. Can I go here, throw it, and get back? I think so. Close enough can't duck, but I think we'll be okay. Oh man, I have a great idea. I also wish we could just fall. If we could just fall, that would be great. Need to get your shield down without killing you as well. I think next turn we'll go for it. Oh, hello. Oh, you're bleeding already. I'm not going to take that shot. All right, if you, of course, know I'm here. Surprise, the cyber armor doesn't actually have a better energy regen. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. That commander is, uh, angry. Right, I need you to trigger any reaction fire he has. Anything? Hello. So you know what, stay here. We need one shot. Let's kill... Let's kill this guy. Or at least try to. Of course not. 
I don't want to deal with you. I don't really see him. Come over here. <laughs> well then. Well, your shield's down. No. Not wounded, but your shield is down. And that was unfortunate. Huh. Oh, no, we're just rolling zeros now. Now we're just rolling zeros. It's to rub it in. All right. You're going to panic, so let's get you close. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop you from dying this turn. And now we got to kill you for reals. Without killing him. Oh, well, this is... Oh, that's not going to work. All right, then, well, then, I just want you to shoot at him first. Don't let myself on fire. His shield is down, so this should work. Oh, this will definitely work. Let's hold on to you on for reserves. All right. Thank you for the host, Hovem True. I appreciate that. No, I can't do anything about that. Let's hope he doesn't die this turn. We can always fix that later. In fact, I'll get ready to do that just in case. Hey, OBP! Oh, and there goes Ivan on a berserk shot. Sorry, Ivan. Oh, zero aim. Why would you do that? I gotta heal that dude. Not cool. Holy Jesus. 13 months. I, God, I don't know where my time goes, man. I'm just losing time. I am doing well. I am doing well, Hovim. Your guy is doing poorly this round. <laughs> you can't hit anything. But otherwise, we're doing great. Speaking of, here you are. Gonna have you all camping, ready to go. And I need you to come off him so we can heal him. I'm gonna send you through there. Well, luckily it's a stun. Let him capture himself with a tank. Or train reaction fire. Oh, that worked out nicely. All right, good. Oh, awesome. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this tank. Are we good? Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Excuse me. Drop you. Going to take you. And you're going to stun yourself. <laughs> 
<laughs> just like that. We had one guy over here. Oh, he bled out. All right, he's dead. Bring Hank around. I <laughs> I did. Straight into the sky. And then next turn, the tank will go and go up and cover this door. But we have enough uh, snapshotters to take care of it right now. I'm just going to assume they're going to just drop right down and trigger all these snaps. So let's not shoot each other in the back. Shame Ivan died. He had a good spawn. I'm gonna bring you. Oh, you can see him. Hmm, that's dangerous. I like it. Right there. Right there is good. Dawnfire. Let's go just check around the back. Double check. And countdown's ready to go. All right, and you're just back off. You know, you can react. Might as well, right? Yo, spy pistol, go. Oh, nice shot. Bad shot. Nice shot. Aw. <laughs> I think we did most of our captures in Terror from the Deep by just walking up to them and letting them um, stun bomb themselves. I cut my way through this cow. Now let's just block the door. Uh oh, he woke up. Man, and I don't have my uh, stun rod because I put it. I don't know where I dropped it. I have a slight hitch. Now we got his shield down. Well, he was less hurt than I thought, huh? All right, we gotta find my stun rod. I think. I could have sworn I left it up here. Oh, is that? Okay, so it's right there. Well, we'll bring someone over there to grab it. Commander is unarmed, so he's not really that big of a threat. Yeah, I can't. When they have time units, when they stop panicking, we'll toss one up. <laughs> Aggressive. Excuse me. Luckily, he spawned right on top of it. <laughs> All right, we're good. Near under control, you're under control. Let's take a peek inside. I cannot. Daddy, you almost got all your reaction reaction training done. I like it. It's a little unfair, and when you boil it down. Well, I just sound my, uh, signed my own death warrant by walking inside.
This floor ob looks amazing too, by the way. There you go. Oh, <laughs> better stun the hell. Woo, got some good hits in there. Alright, I'm just standing right there. You know what? Good bravery training is what this is going to be. Hope I'm true. We'll bring the rookies in. A lot. It doesn't cost them morale. Oh, there's the laser guy. Got me. Do I risk the CQC man? <laughs> oh, you count as CQC, don't you? You do. I'd take a chance. Damn it. Why do they have such good CQC? Well, then you lose it, CQC, man. Oh, I can see it here. I can't punch anymore. Well, that definitely changed, didn't it? Oh, there's a hit. Yeah, so that's why it didn't work before. That makes perfect sense. Hey, Brim, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, there's the laser dude. Definitely not the last one. Let's, um... Make a hole, shall we? Oh, no, that's a, that's a bulletproof cow we got there. That's <laughs> yes, what we got. Can I hit you? No. I will risk this, though. OVP, I need you to... Look around. Uh, I'm going to take a chance. That's a stun weapon. Lethal chem. Chem thrower. Every once in a while, it's a little bit dangerous. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Yeah. 
You're fine. You're a little stunned. I'm surprised these actually don't have any smoke resistance for being helmeted at all. Well, nothing I can do about that. Anything else I can see? Darn, I hate... That's why I hate this ship. <laughs> Alright, LVP shoot straight up. Did any of those even hit? Two. Still won't attack with the uh, stop with the attacks, but I guess it keeps them busy, right? Thought I killed you. I didn't kill you enough. Five wounds. We can save zero aim. Teamwork going. You don't not have one. You don't have one either. Maybe we can't save zero aim. Should be close enough. All head wounds. All right. Couple guys left. Bravery training for you. I'm just gonna peek. Oh, there's yours. And I head outside, and I'm gonna move him out of the smoke. All right, still a bloody mission, but better. <laughs> that happened, like in, uh, Fire XCOM does that with Will, don't they? That's how that works. Hmm. Hello. Let's, uh, let's go take a peek. Hello, friend. All right. Don't react. Not the last one. What did we catch? Oh, nice. <laughs> now we have to find the very, very last one. But that was a silent turn with no PSI attacks. Philip Faustine. Oh, well, hello. Hello, friend. How goes? Yeah, I think in, in the first one, they, they actually had permanent will damage. 
And that is one sturdy cow. All right, hey, guys, we did a freaking lab ship. <laughs> a sectoid lab ship. The thing I thought couldn't be done. And we captured an engineer and a commander. That's commander number three. So we're, I think we're done with alien. We're pretty much done with alien captures. All right, entertainment. We've researched. All right, yeah, researched. Surgery, we have researched. Sell those. I have so many UFO parts. <laughs> so many UFO parts. Alien embryo, we have researched. Alien data slate, I have like six of these too. Once we get alien electronics. All right. Anything else we can get rid of? No. We blew up a lot of stuff, didn't we? All right, let's sell some alloys. Uh, let's do a quick cleanup of stuff we never use anymore. Get rid of scout on ammo. We only need 16 of those. Um, not quite ready to sell those. <laughs> not quite. Even though we haven't used them for a little bit. Um, I'm done with the light cannons. We don't need those anymore. Those were the base defense kits. Uh, not quite done with those yet, unfortunately. EMP, smoke, proxy, flame glove, motion. Why do I have so many motion? Oh, because I built them for the other bases. That's why. Sell a couple of those. Those are for the other bases. Don't mind those. And we'll sell a couple of those. All right. Send them to Titanga. All right. One thing I realized... Sorry. Uh, one thing I realized is that I need to move. I have floater corpses here, I think, that I can't process. Yeah, so we got to send those back to the main base, or to the Citadel. Agent Soldier Info, Memorial 3. So Ivan, I died with you. Brothers in arms always, right? Get that one done. I want to see Ivan be a minimum role hybrid. All right. Excellent. That'll be fast. I don't need that anymore, but I did. No, I don't need that. This will be fast. That'll be fast. That'll clear up some good hunk of alloys. Where are you going? Oh, I don't have one because you got shot down. Do we assume it's the Cerebrals again?
I don't really want to do a cerebral based defense. Sounds tedious. We also need to replace uh, the tank that we lost here. All right, Alm Crowdia will do four and two wounded. Two, three, and four. All oh, these comma. All my X's are commissars, man. Look at that. Three commissars, all disposable <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> that keeps happening. All right. We'll bring the dog, eye sword, and Dana. Oh, and tank up front. Yeah, three cyber armors made, so anyone. I guess I will give it to. The damn commissars, right? Johnny Dick and get skilled. Get Johnny Dick. All right. Personal. Personal. We don't need jump armor. No one here is jump armor worthy. Do I have skull jacks as my default? All right, I just gotta make more skull jacks is what that boils down to. All right, let's take a peek. Let's take a peek, see if they were anywhere. Ah, sectoids. All right, well, I'm either gonna get a sectoid based defense or a cerebral based defense. Not sure which one would be worse. Probably sectoids. What are sectoids terror units? Is it still... Uh, it's not a great way... Still cyber disks. All right, gird your loins. All right, that's good, kind of. Dana? Oh, okay. Let's bring people out the back. You need to get close, you need to... I don't know. I don't know why I bring the sniper rifle. I just don't use it. It's tempting to bring you out. Well, that's an impossible shot. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know we won't waste our time there anymore. All right. The tank do tank things. Oh, that's a shot I want to take and then hide. Damn it, tank. <laughs> that's not cool. All right, you have... It's still best in the front. My, my, my. All right, can you make this shot? You can. 
And I'm going to let you snap it, too. Because he's a bad shot. Dana? Dana? Really? I did not think this would block sight so well. This is the day of blocking LOS. Theoretically, that should work. How am I going to get these guys close? <laughs> I have no idea. Open this door. Finally. Thank goodness. Now let's piss this guy off and see what he does. As expected. Uh, I don't want to leave Scorch here, but it seems like a safe spot, right? That is... blows my mind. Well, it's Scorch. <laughs> That's a dickish thing to do. No, not a good spot. It just blocks all my line of sight, but doesn't affect them in any way, shape, or form. Oh, that's a different guy. Well, this... Chicken mechanic seems to be working okay. Now, did I just block my line of sight with all that smoke? I did. Uh, you are the more dangerous of the threats right now. But, nope. What's blocking my line of sight now? That. The sundial is blocking my shot. Won't block their shot, I guarantee it. I need to get you someplace a little bit safer. Or just blind fire, like right there. Is it just the, it's just the pillar. Just the darn pillars. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. That's how this day's gonna go. see him. Alright, let's do some pillar testing. There we go. Pillar test. <laughs> so gonna die. It's alright though, you're not you're not the highest rank possible. It's the standard X. Alright, that worked out nicely. You see him? How about you? There we go. I'm trusting my life to pillars. It's terrifying. Thank you. You have to ask yourself, do all the pillars have the same light line of sight blocking? Do they follow the same rules?
you realize the flaws in all the maps from Terror from the Deep. The insane amount of flaws in the maps. Like this guy, how do we not see that guy? the dog. In pillars we trust. Hey. <laughs> All hail the pillar. Thirty-three. I'm not planning to do it, but we'll take a peek inside. Excellent. We need to code, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, we need to make sure, we need to change the hybrid's mental thing to uh, a mind probe. Mental thing. And their PSI into a mind probe, that would be far more useful. Don't die. I want to actually get some frickin' training with this tank. I want one shot to land, maybe two. It's not too much to ask. I trust that pillar. I'm gonna do it. All in. Oh, that guy's gonna come forward. This is so damn dangerous. <laughs> it's so freaking dangerous. All right, he's not going anywhere. He can still react us to death, though. So let's get you closer. Oh, we can't do it on the diagonal. Oh, no. Thirty-three. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hold on. <laughs> no. Good luck. I can always do this. Maybe two. <laughs> the shield's down. So. There we go. I couldn't mind control you. And it's a freaking navigator. Continue my pillar strats. We're going to get Halisa experience. I think that's the plan right now, unless he dies right there. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Really? All right. That's experience. And we lost a Scorch. A little skill for that one panic attack. I'll take that. Got ourselves another navigator. Very good. All right, then. I think that's the last mission we're going to do. We're going to run the clock. We're going to get Dana back. Do our backup save. Let's see where Dana goes. Dana got shifted over to the Devil's Den. Floater Engineer. Oh, nice! Excellent! Instead of integrated microprocessors, the aliens use specially grown crystal matrices to create logic machines. While not inherently faster, these crystals allow for multi-threaded communication between its nodes, thereby achieving and even surpassing the level of the theoretical quantum computer. Now we have a rough understanding of how these alien electronics work, and even how to program them, but sadly we do not possess the technology to make them from scratch. We need to rely on whatever we can gather on the battlefield, which as of this point is absolutely zero, but alien optical processor is the important one. However, you, my friend, will continue to research. Engineers. Uh, that's not useful. All right, yeah, continue to research engineers. The other bases who are doing the grab shield. Oh, well, how long was that happening? <laughs> long. All right, uh, optical processor. You guys gotta tell me when I do that. All right, this is from the Vampire Run. So Outpost and the Citadel, everyone. All right, new agents in the Citadel. Mad Lab, of course, is Mad Lab. Uh, Cobalt Quaxton is an X, but pretty well trained already. Aziz number five is very strong. BT Seiko the fourth is just barely not an X. Hey, Rangveer, how's it going? So good for you. Good starting, firing accuracy. And Nook, still an X. Nook is always an X in every playthrough we've ever done. Excuse me, always an X. And let's get you guys training. Who can I pull off of training? Uh, yeah, what are you still training on? Sixty-five and sixty-two. Pull those off. Oh yeah, I used to have one of those back in my younger days. Eighty-seven. I'll throw you on there. All right, and then uh, Dogovich number 10, one of the few 10s in Devil's Den, Devil's Den and Grungletown. All right. Uh, I am not an X anymore. Thank goodness, and Daisy is also not an X. But Ivan is in the Devil's Den, and he is... Alright. Pretty much mid-range for a hybrid. 
good starting strength. Which is probably the most important thing. I've been good. I've been busy. Like, stupid, stupid busy. But otherwise, really good. I just got studded tires for my bike. So I'm all set for the winter. Although, with the studded tires and the rain cover, the amount of rolling resistance I have now is insane. I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> riding two miles today. I went up a hill and I thought I just with a an extra sixty pounds in the bin. It was rough. Thirty six. Up oh, and Nakashima. There we go. I mean, I don't have a car, so yeah. It's just like wearing a drag suit. Once uh, my kids are big enough. Uh, zombie hive. That's just caves, right? I don't need to do it. I'm just gonna land and abort. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm not gonna do a zombie hive. Make sure our gear is on a green tile. That, it sounds like it was a... <laughs> yeah. I could see that being a bit much. Two landed in this month, wow. Double supply. All right, what can we do really fast? The pistols are faster than the ammo. All right, New Dana, Devil's Den, and Chili Bus. All right, Dana, not an X anymore. You weren't an X last time, were you? No. I mean, you're a hybrid, right? Yeah, with that strength. Uh, pretty damn good starting stats. You might have a good run, Dana number 13. Good luck, Dana number 13. 68. Anyone better off training? I'll take a 62. Nah, it doesn't really matter between you two. You've already got 30 on you. Alien Optical Processor. Aliens use a special device to communicate with their navigation equipment. This device emits carefully modulated flashes of bright light directly into the eyes of the operator, stimulating their brain and therefore feeding them with information. It is unclear how this device receives feedback from the pilot, but it seems to read and analyze their brainwave patterns, which are then processed and fed into the UFO navigation. There it is. Hyperwave Decoder and Optronics. Wait, where's Hyperwave Decoder? Oh, there it is. And Optronics is great because it leads to the power suit. Sectoid Engineer leads you to the Cyberdisk Info. This miniature flying saucer is an automated terror weapon armed with a powerful plasma beam. And many, many, many high accuracy reaction shots. The anti-gravity propulsion gives it a big advantage in difficult terrain. Its primary function is destruction and terror in the service of the sectoid race. With that, now more sectoid engineers. A small... Oh, another sectoid mission. I'll let that one land, I think. Nah. Nah. Oh, an excavator.
All right, I think, well, let's let the clock tick over, and if that's still there in the morning, we will leave that for tomorrow's stream. Come on. There we go, 7,000 points this month. The Council of Funding Nations is very pleased. Of course you are. An extra three million bucks. What are you going to spend all this money on? Oh, and congratulations, Moody number 10. Very proud of you. 54. 56. 54 it is. All right, April Fools. We will be stopping here for the night. Thank you all for watching on this off target stream. Thank you for the 13 months OBP. It's literally insane. Uh, tomorrow's stream will hopefully be at the same time. Uh, normal time. Lunch time for me. If not, then I'll see you at night again. Well, we'll see how it goes. Adios, guys. If you're still here, I want to take a moment to say thank you for watching. Please leave a comment or click the like and subscribe buttons below. Every little bit of engagement helps this channel grow. Thank you and adios.